Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn the Jacobi's iteration method. So, in this, this is quite similar to the Gauss Seder method. Okay, slight difference is there while putting the values. We will see that. So, here three equations are given. Now, how to identify whether they are in proper order or not? The only thing whether you can apply the Gauss or Jacobi situation method here Jacobi situation method is that you have to check the values of the diagonal that means the diagonal values are nothing but in the question is 15 10 8 these are nothing but the diagonal values this diagonal values of each equation should be greater than the sum of the other coefficients that means if I take the first equation the absolute value that means whether absolute basically means the positive values that means modulus values if it is negative also you have to take it positive you have to check whether it is greater than the sum of other two values that is nothing but 3 and minus 2 but when you take the minus 2 modulus it will become plus 2 simple logic so this is basically 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 now we know that 15 is greater than what 5 to so sum of these two values so we can say that this 15 is greater than sum of these two values okay next equation if you see i have to take the diagonal element always remember diagonal so 10 is the diagonal element this 10 should be greater than the sum of other two elements so again 10 should be greater than 2 and 1 so if you add them 3 so it is greater than 10 is greater than what 3 so this is also satisfied third equation the diagonal element is nothing but 8 so 8 if you take 8 should be greater than sum of other two elements that is 1 and minus 2 will become plus 2 only okay modulus of minus 2 is nothing but plus 2 only so 1 plus 2 is 3 so 8 is greater than 3 so then only you can apply what this Jacobi's iteration method when three these three equations satisfy this condition that means diagonal element is greater than the sum of other two coefficient other two coefficient it is not dependent on the RHS value okay now now you will be having one confusion that the question whether they will give in the proper order or not now the second thing is that always remember when you are taking the diagonal elements if I change this order for example for example is also important for example if I write 15x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to 85 and if I bring third equation here so x minus 2y plus 8z is equal to 5 and 2x plus 10y plus z is equal to 51 now what happens now here if you observe if i take the first condition for first equation it, it again satisfies because the diagonal element is this one now diagonal elements has changed for the second and third equation see here this is the diagonal element for first one second one and third one right it has changed for the second equation you observe first equation anyways it will satisfy second equation minus 2 is the diagonal element should be greater than sum of other two elements 8 and 1 right so 2 should be greater than 8 plus 1 which is equal to 9 so whether 2 is greater than 9 no it is not greater okay so anyways they will give in the proper order that you have to understand otherwise what you need to see is that go through the equation and see whether the diagonal element is getting satisfied or not see third equation also it won't satisfy because the the element on the diagonal is nothing but one so one should be greater than the sum of other two elements so 10 plus 2 is 12 it is not greater so in the question wise they will give you in the proper order so you have to arrange it in the proper order and try to analyze it okay because the thing is that when they say gauss iteration uh, sorry when they say uh, using solve using Jacobi's iteration method, it basically means that it should satisfy by these three conditions. That means each condi each equation should satisfy this condition. Okay, simple logic. Now we'll come back to the this thing. Now here, so anyways that conditions are satisfied, so we can apply Jacobi's iteration method. So first thing, uh, rearrange or we can say that first equation take x on left side, other thing on right side. So keep x on left side other things on right side so what will happen this 15 will go that side so it will become 1 by 15 and 85 is already sitting 
माइनस थ्री वाई प्लस टू जेड राइट सेकेंड वाई इज इक्वल टू सेकेंड इक्वेशन वी हैव टू टेक वाई दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू वी आर टेकिंग कंसिडरिंग ओनली डायगन एलिमेंट्स राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस थिंग सो फर्स्ट इक्वेशन वी टू एक्स डायगन एलिमेंट सेकेंड इक्वेशन वाई डायगन एलिमेंट देन थर्ड इक्वेशन जेड सो वाई इज इक्वल टू देन क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू सेंड देर दैट इज वन बाई टेन इन टू फिफ्टी वन इज सिटिंग देर माइनस टू एक्स माइनस जेड नाउ थर्ड इक्वेशन जेड इज इक्वल टू वन बाई एट इन टू फाइव इज ऑलरेडी सिटिंग देर फाइव माइनस एक्स प्लस टू वाई आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट वी हैव रिटर्न ओवर हियर ओके नाउ we have to go for these three after writing these three equations now we have to go for the calculation iteration first iteration will do before that first iteration we have to consider the initial approximation initial approximation what is that initial approximation that x of 0 equal to y of 0 equal to z of 0 which is equal to 0 so these values you have to consider we'll understand we'll understand each and everything so x of 0 y of 0 and z of 0 we have to put it as what 0 now we will form the first iteration we'll go for the first iteration so first iteration first iteration what happens x of 1 we have to find y of 1 we have to find z of 1 we have to find simple how to find see already we have equation of x y z to so substitute the values simple so x equation you kindly see 1 by 15 into 85 minus 3 y instead of y what i'll do I have to put y of zero plus two z of zero. Okay, so y of one, what I am going to do? Again, see the equation: one by ten as it is, fifty-one minus two. Now here, be careful. See Gauss-Sidon method. If you have seen, be careful with Jacobi's method because in Jacobi's, what happens? We have to substitute the first iteration always remember you can directly remember that in first iteration you have to give the value of x of 0 y of 0 and z of 0 directly wherever you see x you put x of 0 wherever you see y you have to put y of 0 z of 0 in place of z in first iteration this is fixed in gauss sidon method what used to happen we used to substitute not x of 0 here we had to substitute the previously calculated value because here in first step we calculate x of 1 we had to substitute here x of 1 in gauss sidon method so there is a difference between these two methods okay so here what happens it is fixed that you have to first iteration you have to put x of 0 x of 0 y of 0 z of 0 okay so here directly you have to put x of 0 minus z is there mean blindly you have to just copy paste z of 0 And z equation, what happens? One by eight, five minus x of zero plus two into y of zero, right? So everywhere x of zero, y of zero, you can see. Now we have to substitute the values. Now you carefully see that we already know x of zero, y of zero, and z of zero is nothing but what zero. So we can directly eliminate this part zero. This is also zero. So wherever you see x of zero and y of zero, you can directly eliminate that part. So again, this is zero. So what is left out? So in each equation, try to write. So what happens to here? X of one will become eighty-five by fifteen. Simple. And y of one will become fifty-one by. Sorry. 51 by 10, and z of 1 will become 5 by 8. So we have got all the values. Now we can find the decimal of these three values. So 85 by 15, it will be 5.666. This will be 
5 divided by 8 will be 0 0.625. Simple. We have found the x of 1, y of 1, z of 1. Now what we have to do, we have to go for the second iteration. We will go for the second iteration. In second iteration what happens? We have to consider what all things? x of 1, y of 1 and z of 1. Directly, by blindly in place of that you have to put. No need to worry about previously calculated values, nothing like that. Directly you have to substitute. So what happens here, second iteration? x of 2 you have to find out. x of 2, same equation you have to copy paste. So 1 by 15 into 85 minus 3 y of instead of 0 1 will come plus 2 into z of 1 will come correct so here directly we are going to calculate x of 2 so x of 2 is 1 by 15 into 85 minus now y of 1 we have already calculated you can see there so it is nothing but 3 into 5.1 plus 2 into z of 1 is 0 0.625 directly substitute so in the calculator if you put all these values so you will be getting it as 4.73 okay so i got x of 2 value now next now we have to calculate y of 1 so equation we are having so 1 by 10 51 minus 2x of 1 minus z of 1 already we are having the values so i have written all the values over here you can just keep on substituting so what will happen so 1 by 10 into 51 minus 2 into x of 1 value is 5.66 and z of 1 value is nothing but 0 0.625 so when you put it in the calculator you will be getting the value as 3.904 oh sorry i made one mistake here it should be 2 y of 2 okay so x y of 1 we have already calculated right so it should be y of 2 now next z of 2 second iteration means x of 2 y of 2 z of 2 second equa uh, second iteration so z value so 1 by 8 into 5 minus x of 1 plus 2 y of 1 1 by 8 into 5 minus x of 1 value we are having 5.666 plus 2 into y of uh, sorry yeah y of 1 is 5.1 so you will be getting the value as 1.192 done third iteration what happens now the thing is that you might be having one doubt till where which iteration we have to so where we have to going to stop this process now in ghost iteration method it it takes a long method long steps like long iteration long number of iteration many number of iteration it takes to complete the procedure actually because in ghost cdl it was a uh, few iterations you used to get the approximate value now where we are going to stop see here when whenever you are going to see that x of 1 value we calculated now x of 2 also calculated we are going to calculate x of 3 now we have to relate these values each variable i am just talking about x value each variable you have to relate and see whether you are, they are nearer or whether they are, the, the difference between those error error is less or not that means difference between these two values these two values whether it is minute or not if it is minute then you can approximately say that you can stop that matter step we'll see we'll see in this question you are going to see okay so let us go for the third iteration sometimes they will mention it as uh, five, do five iterations four iterations you can stop still four iterations like that they will mention if not uh, you have to follow uh, like three four steps these four iterations then you can stop the procedure okay so we'll see here how approximately we are getting the value how, how whether we are getting the minute error or not see here in third iteration again the same thing what you are going to, going to do that x of 2 we have to consider y of 2 we have to consider and z of 2, uh, 2 we have to consider blindly just copy paste so x of 3 we have to find out because this is third iteration so again the same thing 1 by 15 into 85 minus 3 in place of x what we are going to do x of 2 plus 2 into z of 2 okay so it will be equal to what 1 by 15 into 85 minus 3 into y of 2 value okay so i have written all the values over here just substitute the values so here what happens 3 into y of 2 value 3.904 plus 2 into z of 2 value is 1.192 so when you substitute all the values you will be getting x of 3 value as 5.045 now we have to find y of 3 
which is equal to 1 by 10 into 51 minus 2x of 2 minus z of 2 1 by 10 into 51 minus 2 into x of 2 4.73 minus z of 2 1.192 so you will be getting y of 3 value as 4.035 now you observe that x of 3 value is 5.045 and x of 2 value the second iteration value is 4.73 there is a difference right between these two this is what I was talking the error between these two whether they are nearer they are slightly nearer but not approximately nearer we will see whether we are getting in next iteration or not now here also y of 2 and y of 3 if you compare y of 2 was 3.9 something this is 4 point something we are getting it is quite nearer we will see ok next z of 3 we have to find out z of 3 is equal to 1 by 8 into 5 minus x of 2 plus 2 into y of 2 so what it will be 1 by 8 5 minus x of 2 value 4.73 plus 2 into y of 2 value 3.904 so you will be getting the answer for x of 3 as 1.010 okay fourth iteration what is what we are going to do we are going to take x of 3 y of 3 and z of 3 okay so everywhere just copy paste this one so what will happen to x of 4 we are going to find out in fourth iteration so that is equal to 1 by 15 into 85 minus 3 into uh, what will happen in, instead of y it is y of 3 plus 2 into z of 3 so the value will become 1 by 15 into 85 minus 3 into y of 3 values so all the values I have written over here okay so y of 3 value is 4.035 plus 2 into z of 3 value is 1.010 so just multiply you will be getting the answer as 4.994 okay 4.994 next y of 4 will find out which is equal to 1 by 10 into 51 minus 2 into x of 3 minus z of 3 that is equal to 1 by 10 51 minus 2 into x of 3 which is 5.045 minus z of 3 1.010 which is equal to 1 by so the final answer will be 3.99 okay then next z of 3 we have to find out which is equal sorry z of 4 we have to find out so which is equal to again put the equation 1 by 8 into 5 minus x of 3 plus 2 into y of 3 right so 1 by 8 into 5 minus x of 3 is 5.045 plus 2 into y of 3 1.010 so when you substitute the values you will be getting it as 1.003 so here you can observe that how much it is nearer to these values okay how much it is nearer to these values now we'll go for the fifth iteration also we are just in this question we are just trying to analyze okay how we are how we are going to get if you do this much iteration how much nearer the value will be we will be getting or we are going for the fifth iteration so in fifth iteration what happens you have to consider x of 4 y of 4 and z of 4 so which value we are going to calculate x of 5 which is equal to 1 by 5 into 85 minus 3 y of 4 minus plus 2 z of 4 so the value will become 1 by 5 into 85 right minus 3 into y of 4 what is the value 3.99 plus 2 into 1.003 simple the answer will be 5.002 okay now y of 5 which is equal to 1 by 10 51 minus 2x of 4 minus z of 4 so that will be equal to 1 by 10 into 51 minus 2 into 4.994 minus 1 into 1.003
that will be equal to 4.001 next z of 3 which is equal to 1 by 8 pi minus x of 4 plus 2 into y of 4 so it will be equal to 1 by 8 into 5 minus x of 4 value is 4.994 plus 2 into y of 4 value is 3.99 so you will be getting the answer as 0 0.998 okay let us go for the sixth iteration also okay so in sixth iteration what will happen we have to consider x of 5 y of 5 and z of 5 okay so but we have to find out which value 6 iteration means uh, x of 6 x of 6 is equal to 1 by 15 into 85 minus 3 y of 5 plus 2 into z of 5 so that will become 1 by 15 into 85 minus 3 into 4.001 See, I have written all the values over here. You can observe. So, okay, each iteration I am writing there. Plus 2 into Z of 5, which is nothing but 0 0.998. So, X of 6 value you will be getting it as 5.0. See how approximate we are getting 5.0. Next, Y of 6 we will find out. Y of 6 is equal to 1 by 10 into 51 minus 2 into X of 5 minus y sorry z of x of 5 minus z of 5 which is equal to 1 by 10 into 51 minus 2 into x of 5 which is equal to 5.002 minus z of 5 is 0 0.998 so you will be getting approximately 4.0 now z of 6 we have to find out which is equal to 1 by 8 into 5 minus x of 5 plus 2 into y of 5 that is equal to 1 by 8 5 minus x of 5 value is 5.002 plus 2 into y of 5 value is 4.001 so you will be getting some answer around 1 okay so 1.0 I am getting that means what you have to understand here so when we are trying to do the iteration what you understand from this so we will try to analyze by writing all the values so try to analyze here so anyways x of 0 y of 0 that was the initial approximation so no need to compare that so we will start from here so x of 1 values you just compare and see so what happens first iteration this much 5.666 we got then decrease to 4.7 then again increase to 5.05 then 4.99 so this two was quite nearer okay then what happens this two came closer you can observe 4.999 and 5.002 then this two again the error has been reduced if you do one more iteration so it will directly get it as what 5 okay no this, this value and this value will remain same okay so that means the the values were isolating at the same place same around 5 it was isolating now in, in case of y you compare, first it was 5.1, then 3.9 and decreased gradually. Then what happened? Increased and started isolating at the same place. You can observe here, 4 it was isolating, right? This was greater than 4, this was less than 4. Then 4.001, these two were quite closer, nearer. Then we arrived at more minute error. That means only some sort, some less amount of error is there. In, in case of z value if you will see 6, 0 0.625 is there again it's increased 1.192 again slight decrease then again slight decrease again slight decrease then it started isolating nearer see these two values you can see isolating nearer what 1 then we got the exact value as 1 if you do one more iteration you will be getting the same value 451 okay 